Okay, so I have had a couple of people ask about creating assignments in Canvas, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that, and that is simply clicking the Assignments button in your Canvas course. And once you create the assignment, it will show in your student's calendar. So you can click the plus sign here for Assignment. You will want to give your assignment a name. And then here in the text box is where you can use a variety of different tools here. So um, you've got edit and insert and all of those things that you might need. Um, but you would type directions in this box. Um, you can change the formatting of your text. <coughs> and you can then go in the farther side over here you could add an external link that you want them to look at. So if you want them to look at a website about something, and then you can type in questions in this text box. You can insert pictures, so uploading media. You can also insert video. So if you want to upload or record media of yourself talking or giving directions, um, you can upload video from your computer that you have already, or you can click record, and it will open up a video of yourself and you can record the directions. So you do that by start recording and then you can talk about the directions that you have. It'll probably make a lovely thumbnail of you. Just like that. Great thumbnail. Click save and you can hit the enter button if you want the video to be below stuff. Pretty simple. Um, you can also use external plugins. So you can use the Google Apps right here and it will sync up to your Google Drive and you can add in a slideshow or something like that. And there's also a couple of other tools here that you could use as well like YouTube or TED-Ed. And you can actually embed those things here into this box. So this is where you put directions and all the like content stuff for the kids. You can change the points value you can set assignment groups in your Canvas, so informal, formal, and then weight them correctly. You can display the grade a couple of different ways. A letter grade, you can do points, you can do percentages. You can just do incomplete or complete if it's kind of like a discussion post. And then you have a variety of different submission types. So you can do online and you can choose text entry the kids will respond in a text box. You can choose website URL where they can put in a shared link of a Google Doc. You can do file uploads. Um, you can also do external tools. So external tools would be using the Google Assignments feature is probably the one you would be most interested in. You do that by clicking find and scrolling down to the one that you want, and you want Google Assignments, not Google Docs, Cloud Assignments, but Google Assignments. So click it. It's going to link to your drive. Um, if you are a language arts teacher especially, you'd probably be interested in the plagiarism one because it will compare it to um, different things. And you'll want to attach here the directions that you made or the assignment that you made. So kind of scroll through until you find something. So here is a blank copy of one. So you can make it to where each student will get a copy of the assignment. Set the points, set the due date, make sure it's the same due date that is in Canvas and click Create. You can do Google Slides too, making a copy of the Google Slides for the students to work on. It's super important to make sure you click Select again. And also, I like to load it in a new tab for the students. You can also change the number of attempts. You can include this assignment's grades when syncing to PowerSchool. You also have the option of it not counting towards final grades, things like that. Um, you have to have a due date in order for assignments to publish. 
You can also make it available from a certain day until the end of a certain day. So even if you have something due next week, you can make it available to see until the end of the quarter. And then when you're finished with that, you'll click save when you're not, and then save and publish if you're ready to go ahead and publish the assignment. So those are kinds of the different things that you can do with assignment settings.